video came together over the last few years that I have been mentoring some of my friends and fellow students who are in the process of becoming AEA certified. Using the principles of water and the science behind building safe and effective classes, Deck Blocks is a great way to get the creative ideas flowing. This video starts with a movement library of 50 moves. We are going to go through five class components, warm up, conditioning, boot camp, functional training, and cool down. Each component will have 10 moves in it, and at the end, you will have a complete movement library totaling 50 moves. We're gonna start with 10 exercises specifically for warm up. Number one, knee high jog. Now that we've warmed the body up sufficiently from those short lever movements, moving right into those longer levers. Long extended arms reaching that hand past the hip. Now we're going to give you 10 different moves that I like to block into my conditioning component of class. Now we're really focusing into that bicep and tricep muscle, keeping those feet anchored to the floor. As we know, our students love to work those triceps, or as I get called, the bingo arm. Now this, again, is a total body conditioning movement. The legs are moving, the core has to isolate to prevent the torso from rotating from those rotating arms. Moving into boot camp movements, we're gonna go over some of my students' favorite boot camp moves that I like to block into my classes. This is where we are definitely going to pick up the pace and get that blood pumping. Last but not least, exercise number 30, level three front to back shoot throughs, or as I refer to them as rock and rolls. One of my favorite components to block into my classes is functional training. Exercise number 32, squat with a box lift. This is a very functional movement, as we know, lifting objects. Now that we've gotten our heart rate up, joints lubricated and muscles contracted, let's stretch it all out. Exercise number 44, wide stance spinal rotations with the breath. Once you have a movement library established, I'll show you how to create a class by building blocks of movement that represent the various components of a class, including warm up, conditioning, cardio, cool down, and more. Now that we have a complete movement library, we are going to select five movements from each of the five components and block them together to create a balanced aquatic workout. We're really trying to warm up the body. We're still in those short lever movements because we've got to get that synovial fluid moving. This conditioning phase, I've chosen those five exercises. We're gonna kind of alternate between those movements. Let's start with that speed skate pushing that water back as you sweep that arm. Nicely done, we know what's coming next. Ski with that rotation, opposite arm of leg. This is one of my students' favorite moves because it definitely works the core. Now we're into boot camp. Again, I've chosen those five different moves. What I'm gonna do is go through each of the moves. So you have four water tempo jabs. Nice. Two water tempo hooks, and then four water tempo uppercuts. Welcome back to our fourth segment, functional training. You can do this for eight or 16 counts, just depending again on the space you have available. Let's take it for two more. Nice big inhale as you open, exhale as you round. I am confident that deck blocks will help you to build a balanced workout that includes all the necessary class components to help your students live a movement rich life. Be sure to read the featured blog because we've included a free movement library with all 50 moves. I hope you enjoyed stacking your blocks and making some waves in the pool.